Welcome to a video from the dislifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build. This is 21313 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. Uh, if you're on the uh, ARM64 device, you won't get this build because of uh, some compatibility issues. So uh, this is just for the Intel devices. Not a huge amount of changes with this build. The uh, first one is the news and interest bar that uh, was released a few weeks ago. This is now available in more markets. So previously it was only available in the UK, United States, Canada, uh, Australia and India. And now it's rolling out to more markets. So it's going to in fact, I think it's rolling out to most markets apart from China, which they're uh, still working on. It all comes from Bing and it's same as if you went on the Bing homepage. Plus you get some weather and um, some football scores and things like that. So this is that new experience microsoft launch so yeah more getting to more regions which is good the other change with this build is uh, you get new microsoft edge replacing the legacy edge if you're on 20h2 so that's the current update that's a public update that's available for for windows 10 this happened anyway but if you're on a, a the, the dev release then actually you could still have the old uh, version and uh, you could manually install the new version but now you're just going to get this uh, this new version on there as well so you're not going to have effectively both versions you're just going to have the new version there's some language change issue uh, fixes and things for various languages um, and the rest of the changes are fairly minor one interesting thing is that the you don't get what they've changed here is the version there it says dev rather than saying 20h2 which it previously did because these fast ring or these dev builds are not tied to a, a particular version of windows 10 then they've changed that to to dev uh they've made some uh minor addition additions to the um new launch animations that make supposedly look make it look smoother don't know whether i really can tell on that but uh, that's what they've that's what they've done. Um, they've improved the uh, touch keyboard so that the it showed you the five settings that they talked about, uh, the five uh, options. I can show you this if I I'm here on a Surface Go. If I flick off my keyboard, you see there's just got those rather having loads of uh, suggestions going all the way across the top. Um, there's it, it, just those five that are centered on there so that's another change that they've made the keyboard back on uh, they've improved the um, voice experience it's going to everybody that was something that was announced a while ago and the updated emoji picker that's on there uh, is now rolling out to everybody as well there's a lot of fixes with this build oh. One other final change that I wanted to mention is they've taken the ability to copy and paste out from SNP into a folder uh, because of some uh, compatibility issues. So that's where you could use a screen SNP and then paste it straight into a folder and uh, you can't do that anymore because of some compatibility issues. Uh, the rest of the things are just fixes. They fixed some uh, blue screens, which is good. They fixed an issue with Miracast and low frame rates, which is really good. And there's a lot of news and interest fixes as well. And alt tab reliability has improved in this. There's a huge list of fixes actually with this build. There are still some known issues. If you're using Azure Active Directory, uh, join via RDP, it will fail and there's a registry setting you have to enable. Um, resetting my PC, we keep my files is uh, returning to a previous state, which means it's it's just failing and leaving you in an okay state, but not actually working. So they've, they're working on that as well. Um, and there's some uh, issues still with the news and, and interest ones. And uh, also with this, they noticed an issue where it's not possible to unpin apps from the start menu and they're working on that. So those are the changes with this this build, a huge amount of changes, but uh, progress. And if you if you, you work in one of the supported regions, you can now, now play with the uh, news and interest bar that you couldn't do before. So thanks for watching this video. You can see more on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.